Hey, it's me again. It's Grey. I'm here to do my blog. It's the 16th of September. I am here. I've done all my notes for my show tomorrow. My High Speed Hangover podcast will be will be on air tomorrow for you to download or stream from the usual place. It's going to be awesome. I'm also working on another video for my channel about the new stamps from Royal Mail, the Ladybird books. I'm sure you all remember reading Ladybird books when you were just knee high to a grasshopper. I know I did. Anyway, I was going to have a rant as well, so I was doing a rant video, but I might make it into another video so I can tag who it is I'm ranting against in it. I have a rant against Lon- Transport for London for being useless today. I have a good old rant, and I'm going to tag him in it and see if it, you know, people might just, you know, people might watch it just for the fact to hear someone's being angry at Transport for London. I'm sure that would be very popular. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, history on this day. Right, 16th of September in the year 1400. Which is quite a long time ago, Owen Glendia, Owen Glendia, Glindu, proclaims himself Prince of Wales, launching the last Welsh rebellion against the English. Probably didn't end very well. Didn't lots of uh, lots of those encounters didn't end well for the people who encountering. But uh, yes, right. On this day in 1931, the last mutiny in the Royal Navy, the Invergordon Mutiny over pay cuts, ends peacefully. That's good. It ended peacefully. I was hope they didn't all get executed for daring to mutiny against the navy. It could be quite harsh in the old navy historically. The British, anyway. And in 1992, on this day, Britain drops out of the exchange rate mechanism, abandoning steps towards European Monetary Union. And uh, yes, we've been abandoning steps towards that kind of thing ever since with Brexit and etc. etc. Making the European idea fizzle away slightly. Oh dear. Is that good? Is it bad? I don't know. I'm not a politician. What do I know? It's probably bad. <laughs> My instincts say it's probably bad. Anyway, poem. I have a poem for you. It's quite a long poem and it's not on a very nice subject, but I'm going to do it anyway. By some bloke called Thomas McGrath. Uh, he lived from 1916 to 1990. It's called Ode for the American Dead in Asia. So I'm guessing that's about various wars, Vietnam, Korea etc etc so here we go god love you now if no one else will ever corpse in the paddy or dead on a high hill in the fine and ruinous summer of a war you never wanted all your false flags were of bravery and ignorance like grade school maps colors of countries you would never see until that weekend in eternity when laughing well armed perfectly ready to kill the world and your brother the safe commander sent you into your future, O oh, dead on a hill, dead in a paddy, leached and tumbled to, a tomb of footnotes, we mourn a changeling, you, hand sell to poverty and drum to war, by distinguished masters whom you never knew. The bee that spins his metal from the sun, the shy mole drifting like a minor ghost, through midnight earth all happy creatures run, as strict as trains on rails the circuits of, Blind instinct, happy in your summer follies. You mind a culture that was mined for war. The state to mould you, church to bless, and always the elders to confirm you in your ignorance. No scholar put your thinking cap on, nor warned that in dead sea fishes died in schools before inventing legs to walk the land. The rulers struck a tennis racket in your hand, an ark against the flood. In time of change, courage is not enough. The blind mole dies, and you and your hill, who did not know the rules. Wet in the windy counties of the dawn, the lone crow skirls his draggled passage home, and God, whose sparrows fall aslant his gaze, like grace or confetti, blinks and he is gone. And you are gone, your scarecrow valour grows, and rust like early lilac while the rose blooms in Dakota and the stock exchange. Flowers, roses, rents, all things conspire to crown your death with wreaths of living fire. And the public mourners come, the politic tear is cast in the forum. But in another year we will mourn you, whose fossil courage fills the limestone histories, brave, ignorant, amazed, dead in the rice paddies, dead on the nameless hills. Okay, that was Thomas McGrath with Ode for the American Dead in Asia. Okay, that was taken from the book Selected Poems, 1938-1988, to copyright by Thomas McGraw, and printed by permission of Copper Canyon Press, and I read it off of this poetryoutloud.org page. Okay, that was it, that's me, I'm going now, I'm going to go and have a rant to Transport for London. Grrr.
damn you, transport for London. That kind of thing.